Hi my guys and dolls and welcome back to Lily Georgia and welcome if you're new and very happy to have you. Today is going to be something a little bit different and we're going to be doing a story time slash kind of product recommend haul at the end. So yeah, without further ado, all you need to do is keep on watching. So this story time is going to be about the dentist. <laughs> it's um, something so simple but I just wanted to tell a story time about it and make a video about it because... I haven't been to the dentist this in one year. So it was a lot going there and um, I went one time for the checkup because also basically a, bit, a little bit of backstory is I'm from London which is in the UK which is in England. So I would always go to the dentist every Christmas that I would come home. Um, but like I don't really do that now so and I recently got the insurance so now we're good but yeah I never really went to the dentist or the opticians any of that here now I do so I'm like set because I know now that I'm like permanently here I'm not like ever gonna go back home I'm always I'm never I'm never gonna go back home but I'm always gonna stay here so that's why I like to secure these things now so <laughs> I go to the dentist and I was kind of nervous, I was like, oh, like, what's going to happen because my mouth hasn't been looked at in a year. So I go and I sit down and they take pictures and everything and they're like, you have cavities. And I'm like, sis, I've been done you because it, my mouth hurts, like, hi. I had like, one, two, three, four. I don't, I don't know if you can hear that. Now I have fillings, but. Uh, basically, I, I had one cavity here, one cavity here. One cavity here, one cavity here, and then this was like all like messed, but it's fine now they fixed it. Basically, I had cavities, which is why my mouth was hurting, and I confused it for wisdom teeth because my wisdom teeth are coming in. You can see in the x ray and in the, um, the photos that they are like there, they just haven't hit the bone yet. I took pictures of the teeth and all that, and it was fine. And then we, they were like, We need to come take you back for a routine cleaning, like a deep cleaning, because it's been a while, hasn't it? And I was like, Yeah, it's been a year. Like, <laughs> don't know what to, don't know what else to say about that, but it's been a while. So I went back yesterday. Was it yesterday? What day is it today? Is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday yesterday. Sorry, I keep forgetting which day of the week it is. Quarantine tinge, you know. So yesterday it was Tuesday. I went back on on Tuesday. I went to have the routine cleaning now. And the thing I will say is that it takes not that long. It only takes about an hour, which was what I was thinking of. Also, it takes me like seven minutes to get to the dentist anyway from where, from where I am located. So that was really neat and it wasn't like too long. So I went there, I got there and I went in. And you just have to fill in some like little bit of paperwork and that. Um, and like sign some forms and stuff, that's fine. And that's just standard for like a procedure thing like that. And then you go in and you have to use this mouthwash and everything. And then you put it into this like weird tube and you like <laughs> And then basically what it was is that I was scared because I hadn't been in a year. And I knew what to expect because I kind of remembered what it was like last time, but I was just like, my sister's scared. So, I knew that I had to be under anaesthetic and when I looked over at the needles <laughs> I was scared like I was like really like did you really have to do that but then again it's like I'm, I'm rather would not feel it than feel everything that would hurt my teeth still ache a little bit so ow um so they, they put these giant needles, they like put it in here, in here, and they were like, you're gonna feel a bit of pressure. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But then I was like, ah. Like my eyes kind of were just like, because of the pressure and that. And I was just like, oh no. But I was, I, I hate needles, so I'm scared of needles anyway. So just looking at them and knowing that it was going into my mouth the whole time, I was just like, no, I don't like that. So the needles went in, and they put some kind of like bubblegum flavoured like numbing gel 
and they put it here and here and it worked instantly like that stuff is that stuff is powerful i'll tell you that but it tasted so good and i was just like <laughs> it tastes nice <laughs> and i was all excited and it was cute and i felt like i was at the fun fair that was so cute and that is painful in a deep cleaning it's a drill dude like the drill is very intense and it's like it's not when they start like when they do it on the surface it's fine it's when they go really deep into the hole of the tooth it hurts like they drill like they drill right in there and it just hurts so bad and so i was just kind of like wincing i was also like praying i was like god please do not let me feel this pain right now and please let it go fast and it went faster and i didn't really feel as much pain because i wasn't it was like it's like one of those situations where it's like mind over matter you put your mind somewhere else and you think of other things I like have a, I think I have a, a low pain tolerance. Yeah, I feel it, I feel it a lot more, but I kind of just put my mind somewhere else and then I was fine. But I hate the drill, it's really painful. Everything else was fine, they just put the new fillings in right here and like set everything in place. And it was good. Um, I was nervous though, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was pretty nervous. It finished. And basically my whole mouth was so numb that I couldn't really form sentences together. I couldn't talk. I was, um, what's that thing called when you have an S? A, s a f Lisp. Lisp, that's what it is. Lisping. I had a lisp. I couldn't say my S's and I couldn't form sentences. I'll insert a few clips of that right here. So I had the teeth cleaning. I can't even feel my mouth right now, my numb, my nose. Wait, what? My nose, my tongue, everything is numb. I can't feel shit. And it was like so bad. I just kind of like... But like they covered it for the insurance, so I'm good. But like, oh my god. I feel like Grayson, when he got his wisdom teeth removed, can't feel nothing. Hey, Hi guys. So I just got home. And even though it looks normal, it, I can't feel nothing right now. I can't even form a sentence. And it feels, oh my God, I have like, some in there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, my old mouth. Here we are, you know. Came back from the dentist and I can't feel anything. My whole mouth is numb. <laughs> So that was that. <laughs> I even made a vlog on my Rizzle, Lily Georgia 21. If you want to check it out, I just hit 1 million on there. Hi. Um, I made a vlog on Rizzle about that. I the opportunity of this moment to be able to do a funny vlog like that to make people laugh. But it was just like, I don't think I've ever been numb from the dentist before. I've never really used anaesthetic or if I did, I haven't remembered. So I've never had my mouth be that numb. Like I was putting my hand to my, to my lip and it felt like I was touching somebody else's lip. Like it was weird. I was just like, what? And so I couldn't feel my whole mouth. I couldn't form sentences. I couldn't like, I couldn't feel my tongue either. Like I couldn't feel anything in my mouth. Like I could, like I put my tongue like here, like that. I couldn't feel that. It was just so bizarre and my, my face, my chin was a little bit swollen um, so I was just embarrassed but I just wore a mask home, I was like nobody's going to see this but yeah it was, I mean it was worth it, I'm glad that my teeth are sorted now. I had, I still have a few aches and pains, um, I have a pain in my jaw, I go like this because they were holding my jaw open for so long because they were doing all the teeth, also I have a little bit of pain like here in the front teeth um, and just kind of all around, like yesterday I was struggling to eat because it hurt because it was still fresh, but it's all settled in now. I just have a few aches and pains, but I'm just taking some Tylenol with some water and kind of letting that settle down. But it's it's all good. And um, I'm happy that I did it because if I went along like any longer, I think that it would really, it would be dire. I think the consequences because I had gone so long without going to the dentist or treating my teeth, my life to do that, so that I'm able to, to do all that. One of like three of my goals this year is ass, skin, and abs. 
I mean, I'm already mastering the cake department, okay? But I just want a bigger, just want bigger cakes, you know what I mean? You can never have too much cake, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'll just clear up my skin, get my teeth right and white. Right and white. Uh, clear up my skin, get my teeth right and white. My, my skin's pretty clear already, but I just want to be able to like take off my makeup and have no like things anywhere, which is kind of an impossible goal, but I can do it. I'm gonna make sure I do it. I wanna drink more water, because I don't drink enough water. Like, at all, sis. Actually, that's, probably, that's kind of scary. I didn't drink any yesterday. Well, inside of my body is a desert right now, so I need to quench, quench the thirst of the body anyway. So I need to drink more water, I need to clear up my skin, I need to get bigger cakes, I need to uh, get some abs, and then just these are all personal goals that I would like to fulfill this year, and just kind of do my own thing. I've been in this headspace, and I texted my best friend this morning, and it's kind of like, we only live once and one day we're not gonna be there anymore. So we have to be able to live in the moment and enjoy the moment. Like I have a lot of acting anxiety and I've kind of thought to myself, you know what? Don't, don't give in to the anxiety and what, and what your feelings want to make you do. Like it's, it's not that bad when you think about it because if you have anxiety, I know it, it can feel really bad, but if you just direct your mindset to something else more positive, then you're going to be fine. Like I had a talk with myself today and I was like, okay, next time I film, I'm not going to let myself get nervous. I'm not going to allow myself to have anxiety over these things. Like, you know it, you know, you know it because you spent all week doing it. You know, you know it. You just get up there and you do it. So that's my mindset in acting. I feel like I need a fan, just like. Hi, how are you? Talk about some products now that I've been using for my teeth to remain white and beautiful and shiny and healthy. So I'm gonna start off with this toothpaste. I've never used this toothpaste before and I was using the Arm & Hammer toothpaste, which I think made my teeth worse. It was, it had so uh, baking soda in it and it was the Arm & Hammer one, the orange and yellow one that you can see at like CVS, Target, all of those places. I think that it's good for maybe once in a blue moon if you want to do a treatment on your teeth to make them white, but not an everyday toothpaste. And I think that's why my teeth deteriorated in health because I was always constantly using a whitening toothpaste that only specialized in like whitening them and not making them stronger. So I picked up the, the Crest Pro Health toothpaste thank you very much now this has different areas that it's that it specializes in which i really like so it goes cavities i can't say this word so i'm going to skip that acid erosion sensitivity plaque tartar whitening and freshens breath and what i like about it is it actually does feel like a gel it's not like a toothpaste it's more like a gel it kind of it's blue in the inside comes out like that and it actually smells pretty good too. It reminds me of a toothpaste that I used to have when I was younger, um, like the smell of it, but I really like it. And it does feel really nice in the teeth. And normally when I brush, I bleed, <laughs> but I didn't today. I think because I fixed my teeth too. But um, this just is a very good toothpaste for anybody who's looking for one that, that makes your teeth stronger and healthier and whiter. So I recommend this, I recommend this toothpaste wholeheartedly for anyone who wants to use it. I also want to show you the the mouthwash that I use. This is the Listerine Antiseptic Fresh Burst one. And this is just to really like clean the teeth and everything. I used to use the blue one, but now I use the green one. Cause I just, I like the smell, um, not the smell. I like the taste better and it just tastes more fresh. And I normally do about 30 seconds with these mouthwashes, I, I do it. 30 seconds and then you know obviously rinse it out and everything but it feels fresher once you do it for long recommended time to do it for i actually just picked up yesterday a two pack of the oral b floss it's the complete satin floss <laughs> and it's in the, the flavor mint and you just it's very easy you just pick it up ba -bum, and then you floss ladies and gents as well as your mouthwash and your oral health so yeah that's 
health class with Lily Georgia. So I wanted to show you those products and do this story time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. Please give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it really helps out your girl. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, my loves.